Hi everyone. Have you ever started in a new project or a new area or even a new organization and needed to understand where everybody fits in the work that you're doing? Well, one of the best ways to do this is with an organization chart or an organizational breakdown structure. And what we're looking at is, uh, is basically from top to bottom, say from the executive layer and down through into managers, leaders and teammates within the work that you're doing. Now this could be for a project or it could be for a, just a new team or even an entire organization. The choice is yours. But when we're working with a project, we might have things like the project manager uh, or even executives up in the top layer. Then we might even uh, call out the areas that we're working in. So we might have teams of developers, teams of testers, and then the names and the roles of those people underneath those areas. This particular organizational chart is really, really cool because we can have the picture of the person that we're looking at as well, as well as their area and as well as their name and their role. So we get a really great picture of who is involved and what they are supposed to be doing. We're going to create this in PowerPoint today and it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. Let's get into it. Now the first thing we're going to do is just add the heading area so that we can put the, the area or the team area or the project that we're working on. Now we're going to create the shapes that we want to use for our organizational breakdown structure. And the first one we're going to use is just a normal rounded rectangle and that's in our shapes area. Let's put that right up the top. But what we want as well is just to have no fill or even just a white fill, so a standard fill. And our outline can be a nice dark blue. Let's give that a little bit more weight as well. Now if we right click and if we edit the text there, we can say this is our, uh, our name. And this is the role that we want as well. One of those can be bold. Next we want the shapes for the areas that our people will be working in. So we'll go back to insert insert shapes and we just want one of these rectangles with uh, a little bit of rounded uh, corners at the top but not down the bottom and this is just going to differentiate the areas from the people and if we actually copy this particular item or if we go to home we can use our format painter and just click on that and do the same deal for our, for our next shape there nice and easy and now it looks very very similar now we just put the roles or the areas that we're working in for our project or our organization. If we want to add a little bit of color, color to these, it's very, very simple. Just right click again, go back to our fill, and we can add a nice, you know, just a nice light color for each of these, depending on the area, just to differentiate them so that we know exactly where we're looking uh, for each area. Now lastly, we want our, the actual people in these areas as well. So if we just copy these down, very, very simple, Control C and Control V. Now we've got a few people in this area and we can do the same for our senior users. We can do the same for our change management and even developers and testers. Now we just want to connect these in a really nice way. So if we go to insert and shapes, we can just put a normal line actually, but that line should be a connector and a, an elbow connector. And as you see, when we, over, when we put it over these shapes, it wants to connect to them. So we'll just connect it to that area and that area. Now what we're going to do is with our outline is just increase the weight a little bit. Uh, and we're going to make sure that that's the color that we want as well. But for this, if we format that shape, and if we go to our uh, begin arrow type, we can make these a nice rounded shape. Uh, and that's what we're looking for there. Same with our end arrow type. And let's see, now we're really talking. So this is uh, giving us a nice rounded, uh, rounded thing. And that's just going to look really nice for all of our connectors when we're connecting our, our areas and our users. For some of these connectors, you may notice that they, they look a little bit uh, clunky sometimes. So it's, it's got a, you know, it's, it's a right angle, but it's, uh, you know, so it's not smooth. And the way that we want to get around that is if we actually go to shape format, we can edit that shape or we can't change this one here, but what we can do is insert a new shape and it's just going to be a curved connector. So if we select that one here and connect these two items, then it's not going to be uh, as, as sort of right angle. It's not going to be as sharp. So what we can do is just copy again with our format painter and copy that across to our other one. Now that's very similar, but it's not as sharp with the angles. So this might suit 
um, this particular area a little bit better for us as we're connecting the people to the area. Now the last part we want to do is something really, really cool. We can grab a photo uh, or a picture of the people that we're working with and you might have that on their, on their team page or on the organization page uh, or, or even just take a photo yourself and put that in. We're just going to use a, a filler photo or a filler picture. It's not going to be their real picture at the moment, but it'll look something like this. So these are our two filler photos and they just come in square and with no borders or anything else. So what we want to do is click on the photo and f uh, picture format. So we want to format that picture. Now what we want to do as well is to crop and crop to a shape. And if we crop to a shape and make it an oval, now it's a, it's a nice beautiful circle for us. And we actually still want to add an outline to this as well. So we'll go to picture border and we'll give ourselves a little bit of a uh, weightier border there. And we'll also, with our border, make that the same color that we really, really want. If we hold shift when we increase the size of that, that'll keep, uh, that'll keep the same shape of our circle. And now we can decrease that ever so slightly and fit that right in to the, uh, to the left of our, of our areas. Uh, or oh, it's not gonna be that one, but it's gonna be under our rolls and same for our other areas. Let's use our Format Painter again. If we click on Format Painter and on our, on our other picture as well, now that's gonna be very similar and we can add that over to the left here. All together, now we can add these uh, to the rest of, our, rest of our names and roles. And now one last thing, all we need to do is take these particular things, group them together. So select them all, right click and group and group and now this particular item will move and the connectors will move with it same for any of the others that we actually happen to group together here we go we're going to group this one and when we move that it'll move everything for us and now we can create a beautiful organizational chart of our very own and it's going to look absolutely fantastic i hope you've enjoyed spending the time with me creating this and i've really enjoyed spending the time with you and i hope you go and use this and do amazing things in your company i'll see you in the next video bye